I got a Christmas tree here uh, that we used over the season and we're done with it now that it's January. Um, a lot of people don't really know what to use to do with these things after they're done with them. They throw them out their yard, they burn them or whatever, but they make great fishing habitat and on these docks around here on Lake of the Ozarks, crappie and bass use them year round um, for structure and so do bluegill and all kinds of bait fish use these things to uh, get shelter in and also provides a lot of algae. What I did here was I cut out some of the branches in certain areas so like this used to be all full uh, just like this was and this is too thick for crappie and bigger fish to get inside of so I make little areas here that fish can get up into and they can suspend around that they can actually go and utilize the structure instead of just suspend around it um, so this area you want to make sure you have some of because you want the little fish to be able to get in there and still be providing shelter for the bait fish that's going to provide forage for those bigger fish you want to draw in plus it's also giving them cover and I cut out down here as well so they can come in suspend up underneath some of the shade that's in here and uh, on the other side as well. Same kind of areas where you just cut out and thin. You can do three or four spots on a tree that's about this size. It's about six foot tall. And uh, you can stand these things up on the lake bottom and they provide shelter for those fish in addition to the dock. And that really separates what dock's going to hold more crappie and bass year round. All right, so I got a Home Depot bucket here, uh, just an old empty one that got cracked at the bottom. It'll work for this. I'm gonna take it and put it on the bottom of this tree, like so, and we're gonna attach it with the bottom of the trunk to the bottom of the bucket here and screw it in on the sides with uh, screws and a screw gun. And we're gonna fill up the inside of this with rock for weight to sink it. And the buoyancy of this is all gonna be towards the top where the tree is and all the wood. And the weight's going to be at the bottom, keeping it down tight on the bottom while keeping it standing up because that part wants to naturally float. Okay, so now we got the base screwed on with the screw gun and all that's attached so it's uh, not going to go anywhere without the bucket moving. And now we got to fill the bucket full up of weight and uh, we're going to sink it probably over in one of these deeper wells over here. Um, don't be afraid to put brush in down there by your well if it's deep enough and it'll get clearance. Uh, I just wouldn't put it directly underneath your boat lift. Like if you put up underneath there where the actual lift is is bad but like right here it's not going to hurt anything even if it sticks up out of the water a couple inches when the lake draws down. Okay guys, we got all of our blocks and stuff and rocks stuck in that bucket. It's pretty full. Um, I got some wire up here, kind of wrapping it in so it doesn't fall out the excess. But as you can see, it's gonna be a hole here for these fish to sit in. And it's gonna be really nice for them. Uh, also up and around the bucket, they can get up underneath as well as suspend around the top, the sides, and the other holes that I've made on the other end. They're actually over there, but it should be pretty good several places for fish to go uh, bait fish can get into it and i think we're ready to sink it we're gonna choose this little well right here i know there's nothing directly below this um gotta push it away from anything that's sitting there that's vital to the dock or that boat but it's a pretty skinny tree it'll fit right in there pretty easily so uh, and it won't be anywhere near that lift or the boat when they come in so uh, completely safe to do that There you go. Nice, down she goes. That's basically what you need to do to sink a Christmas tree in the lake. Um, you can put them down horizontally as well. We just like to stand these up vertical. They provide more structure to crappie. Bass um, will use the ones that are leaned over horizontal more often than not that I found, um, but they'll still use this as well. We're gonna wrap up the video here, guys. Thank you for watching today's episode. I'm thinking about doing more of these kind of videos in the future, showing you guys how to make other kinds of crappie structure out of PVC and pallets and different things, as well as other uh, brush like this. 
If you enjoyed this, drop a thumbs up down below and leave a comment if you'd like to see some of the other content with making some more brush piles out on the lake and other structures of water and more how-to videos. So subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more content like this, and we'll catch you on the next one. Good luck and tight lines.